Chapter 2 The Howling The air was crisp and cold. Jack and Annie shivered. They looked out the window at a dark gray sky. The tree house was on the ground. There were no trees and no houses, only an endless field of ice and snow. Morgan and the owl were gone. R -r Read the riddle, said Annie, her teeth chattering. Jack unrolled the scroll. He read, I cover what's true and high. I cover what's real and hide what's true. But sometimes I bring out the courage in you. What am I? I'd better write it down, said Jack, shivering. He pulled out his notebook and copied the riddle. Then he opened the book. He found a picture of a barren white field. He read aloud. The Arctic tundra is a treeless plain. During the dark winter, it is covered with snow and ice. In early spring, snow falls, but the sky begins to get lighter. During the summer season, the snow and ice melt and the sun shines 24 hours a day. It must be early spring now, said Jack. There's snow, but the sky is a little light. He turned the page. There was a picture of a man wearing a hooded coat with fur trim. Look at this guy, said Jack. He showed Annie the picture. We need his coat, said Annie. Yeah, said Jack. Listen to this. He read aloud. This seal hunter wears sealskin clothing to protect him from icy winds. Before modern times, native people of the Arctic lived by hunting seals, caribou, polar bears, and whales. Jack took out his notebook. He wrote, The Arctic. Seal hunters wear sealskin. He was too cold to write any more. He clutched his pack against his chest and blew on his fingers. He wished he were back home in bed. Morgan said someone was coming to meet us, said Annie. If they don't come soon, we'll freeze to death, said Jack. It's getting darker and colder. Shh, listen, said Annie. A howling sound came from the distance. Then more howling sounds and more. What's that, said Jack. They looked out the window. Snow was falling now. It was hard to see. The howling grew louder. It was mixed with yipping and yelping noises. Jack and Annie saw dark shapes coming through the snow. They seemed to be running toward the treehouse. Wolves, said Annie. Great, that's all we need, said Jack. We're freezing and now a pack of wolves is coming for us. Jack pulled Annie into the corner of the treehouse. They huddled closer together. The howling got louder and louder. It sounded as if the wolves were circling the treehouse. They whined and yelped. Jack couldn't stand it any longer. He grabbed the Arctic book. Maybe this can help us, he said. He searched for a picture of wolves. Oh, hi, Annie said. Jack looked up. He caught his breath. A man was looking through the treehouse window. His face was surrounded by fur. It was the seal hunter from the Arctic book.